I became involved as a breast cancer activist in 2002 when my mother developed breast cancer. Um, it was caught early. You know, she had a lumpectomy and, and radiation and, and chemo and, and is a survivor. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. You know, you felt helpless. You felt like you couldn't do anything about it. You, I, I don't like that feeling. I'm the kind of person that likes to, you know, be in control of their own destiny and this was something that you know, I don't think anybody really understands how to react to it um, until you go through it yourself. And, and that's the reason why we decided to start this foundation, Birdies for Breast Cancer. We were on the road to recovery before anything was founded. And my mom was a big inspiration for starting Birdies for Breast Cancer. She, she really was. And golf, you know, something that I love to do. Uh, I've always you know, had a lot of success and done a lot of things because of golf and it seemed only natural. I became affiliated with Jersey City Medical Center through one of my sponsors, the Fireman Family. The, the Fireman's own Liberty National Golf Club, which I play out of, and they're a very philanthropic family. They donate $30 million to different causes uh, every year. So through them, I was able to meet the folks at Jersey City Medical Center. And there was a natural synergy there. They decided they wanted to name the center after me, which, which was a shock. But it's really about the people that are here, the people that are doing the services, and the patients that are here. And that's the reason I'm so passionate about what I do. And if you can provide you know, something that makes their life easier, especially from a health perspective, I think that you know, that is immeasurable. Breast cancer knows no discrimination, and it affects every age and every ethnicity and every socioeconomic group. To have a center that offers patients the highest quality of imaging and early detection and interventional biopsy procedures that spare patients unnecessary pain, it's an enormous gift to the women of the state. I think the mission statement behind the Christy Kerr Women's Health Center is that we want to provide top-notch services. We want to be in a very accessible location. We want to have all the state-of-the-art technology. And we want to be a place where everybody's equal. It doesn't matter if you have all the money in the world or you're somebody that has very little money or no money, you can come in and everybody's treated the same. I think early detection is the number one key. We need to have free mammographies, you know, support with that kind of financial end. We lose women, young women, every month, every year, because they didn't have the money. Having this type of a center where we do specifically look for all patients, and most of the women who come in are grateful and, and so relieved that they do not have breast cancer. But those women who have a problem can be worked up appropriately and have proper testing in one setting that really can give them enormous peace of mind. You know, a center that's designed by famous designer Tom Felicia who lost his mother breast cancer and it just doesn't feel like you're in a hospital which is why I, I love it so much. So for this facility to even exist as a beacon of multidisciplinary state-of-the-art diagnostics for breast cancer is a, an enormous gift to the women of the state and specifically to the county. I'm alive. I'm alive because I found the center. I'm alive because I found the good quality doctors. I'm alive because I found an institution that had the technology to keep me alive. I'm a very ambitious person and I have to tell you, this is the most rewarding thing that I do with my career because when you see the look on people's faces, they're not so frightened anymore. It's really about that.